Hi everyone, my name is Mario Guado, and this is my video presentation for CGS3095, aka Technology and Global Arena. The topic I chose is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence transcends society, but has raised ethical concerns. For the past few years, big tech companies such as Google and Apple have been have developed a, an interest in artificial intelligence. Recently, they've been, they've been implementing their artificial intelligence. For example, companies such as, so com, Google has their Google Assistant, Apple has their Siri, and, and our favorite, some favorites, Amazon with their, with their, with their Echo, implement with with their personal assistant Alexa. And with the power of hardware and software, artificial intelligence has become essential in the tech industry. However, it has risen a lot of ethical concerns, concerns such as in, with employment, its impact to society, its safety and security. And, inter and interestingly, human rights. So let me ask you, should, should artificial intelligence have human rights? What impact will artificial get when it advances? And what benefit will it give to the workforce? Greats such as Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have talked, talked not so positive about it. Hawking's once quoted saying that, saying, saying human, saying artificial intelligence can put an end to mankind. So the code of ethics I'm going to be using for, for my presentation is the ACM code of ethics. People have, have been concerned about the future where only all of artificial intelligence will be running a company. But actually, that's not the case. It will actually, it will actually benefit. It will benefit the first rule of the ACM Code of Ethics. 1.1, contribute to society and human well-being. It will create... It will create new jobs. It will create new jobs around, around computer science, engineering, information technology, and it will even create some new jobs, such as, such as, such as ca careers in like IoT, the Internet of Things, and with AI, it will give effective training standards and laws to new employees. So, like, it doesn't really need. Like it will be like a universal code of a company to, for everyone to follow. And with AI, it will increase, it will increase in productivity and efficiency. So if one thing that we're doing now is difficult, AI might, might improve it to make it easier for everybody. It will solve complex problems. But then this is where people think, this is where people think that that they're going to take our jobs because the the concerns is the concerns in automation. Yes, there's going to be a lot of automation, but but probably those human work workforce could be could be moved somewhere else. If all else fails, they could probably it will be cut down. It will be a cut down on human workforce. As artificial intelligence becomes more lifelike. Will it need rights of its own? This has come up in an unexpected way. As a robot by the name of Sophia, the human, the humanoid robot, was granted citizenship to Saudi Arabia, which caused, which stirred all this question. I would, I would, should we, should we give robots the same standards as humans? 
some argue they should have the same same rights. Others just can still think that it's just a machine. So they just they just continue treating it as a machine. But like eventually it's gonna get to a point where where it's gonna be, where it's gonna have to go to a point where we're gonna have to to regulate the development of artificial intelligence. Because it makes outsmart a human. As you see, it's getting a little smarter than us. But not too smart. It still has like its little things here and there. In safety and security, artificial intelligence tends to have both positive and negative. This is where where we we start to see where where artificial intelligence can break the ACM code of ethics. So on the positive, artificial intelligence can address hu human pro human problems effectively. It would detect it would detect potential threats. It will promote advances in cybersecurity, and it will protect databases such as big data. So it will follow the following rules. It will follow. 1.1 contribute to society of human well-being. 1.3 be be honest and trustworthy. One point one point seven respect the privacy of others. And 1.8 honor confidentiality. But then on the right side of on on the right side. Of the list is the negatives, and this is where it'll break. Break for. It'll break one of the, one of the rules of that ACM rule of ethics. So artificial stupidity. It'll be about mainly. It'll, because AI. So one thing about AI that, it does try and error a lot, and it's. And thanks to the artificial stupidity, we can't really trust them. But this is where it breaks the ethical rule of 1.2, stating avoid harm to others. It's done so in the past, recently actually, during 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 an Uber test drive, self driving drive test drive. The car went into a fatal car accident, resulting in Uber to halt all all testing until further notice. So it, so on Uber's part, that's where it, that's where it failed. And it, and it, Uber broke the rules of, broke one of the rules of ethics. The second one, potentially programmed for destruction. It could, it could, it's a really, it will break, it will break the rule of ethics. Because if someone owns, Owns an AI, like let's just say they own like a robot, and then like it goes crazy. Someone could hack it to go crazy, but that's all science fiction. Then it will, but then it's going to be difficult to align values and safety. Sometimes, if a robot may think to himself, like, if I'm doing the right thing, but that's only just a theory. But then it's going to be vulnerable to hackers. So this is where it's also going to break more. It also breaks rule of ethics because it won't it won't respect the privacy of others, and it'll break the honor of confidentiality. So anything that the so anything that a human told an AI about, if, and if that AI gets hacked, it's gonna it's gonna be a broken rule of ethics. AI, AI's impact to society can can help us change computing, which follows the ethical rule of the ACM Code of Ethics 2.7, stating, quote, to improve public understanding, understanding of computing. And, and it also gives us, and also it helps us improve medical diagnosis and treatment to various things.
But going back to change computing, it'll help us understand the a machine, the way it the way it learns, the way it could help following those rules of ethics that I mentioned earlier. However, it could also bring it. This is another another section where it could break there. Their code of ethics, such as could bring bias among AI and humans. It will break. It will break ACM code of ethics number one point four, which states to be fair and take action, not to discriminate. Like if it does the opposite, then then the AI will be breaking its own rule of ethics. Include so also for social inequality to among humans. Can be also those two rules will actually break that one rule of ethics. So, in conclusion, artificial intelligence should should not be a worry. We, it's still pretty much like it's not really advanced to like the point where we have to literally talk hand to hand and them. Like Sophia is only, as I mentioned earlier earlier ai does follow a few set of of rules among the acm rule of ethics but then the other is not really there's still a lot to learn about artificial intelligence and we may not see artificial intelligence be perfected within years or centuries to come so my verdict on artificial intelligence is, I believe it's ethical to uh, to society. Even though it has like its own flaws, such as breaking some rules of ethics, I believe those will improve over time. And then as technology advances, we should all be ready for what's to come. And, we, and we'll be able to improve and harness artificial intelligence. I want to thank you very much for watching and and have a good night.